Hello Internet, this is The Root. I basically, yesterday, should have made the video yesterday, but I was far too tired and exhausted. Rode, just out of sheer pleasure, and missed the train, because I did intend to take the old train back home. From Toronto to Burlington, and back. That's exactly what I did. And, in order to use the full, 8.35 kilometers of the Burlington Beltline, or whatever it was called anyway. I still gotta look it up and link it below if I get time. I rode across that rail trail. I can't imagine what it would look like being the sheer angle it goes across New Street. You know, a complete angle like this. That's 10 or 20 degree angle northeast to southwest or northeast east to southwest west but whatever uh yeah it must have uh been pretty complex and the path was direct rail the trail but it was paved and some parts of it aren't so smooth lots of hills although they probably should have kept the original train bridges but whatever they didn't, but still pretty awesome. As to why it's a rail trail, if you look it up on maps, let's say in Apple, Google, Bing, look on the uh, satellite imagery and you'll see the part where it starts on, uh, what's that street called again? Not Great Lakes Avenue, it changes to another street. Just uh, north of the railway. I believe, just east of uh, Appleby Go Station. I keep forgetting uh, Boak Street, I think. I can't recall the street name, but whatever. I'll link it below. And uh, it goes right up to the point where it gets to Brant and continues on McMurray Avenue. At least I think that's what the street is. Then again, I will uh, link it below anyway. And you can see on all three providers. A satellite imagery confirms it was a rail trail because the part that's very inaccessible and not part of the trail is west of the street where it starts in the east. I'm sorry, yeah, east of the street it starts at in the east mm -hmm. and where it ends at further in the very west in Burlington at Brant Street is basically where it was extended. There might have actually been a station there. I don't know. I'd have to look through history and all that probably was it's probably went further east and further west than the original trail that's I'm guessing it was fun I went both ways on it went far west to the end I almost went to Aldershot go station because I thought maybe it was still running but apparently it wasn't but I did miss the last train which is a bummer but whatever and then I went back that way and then yeah, it was fun. And then I got lost a few times along the way there. I also got lost too going along the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. That was fun. Very fun. And I didn't put my camera rig and I didn't film it unfortunately. Due to the fact there was a few threats of rain. Yes, it did rain for a brief time and I wasn't about to sacrifice my equipment but I could have still brought my uh Canon point and shoot and took some photos of it, but uh, and I could have logged it on Strava, but hey, I wasn't thinking about it at the time, so that really sucks and uh, it's a disappointment. But the trip was worth it, all 128 kilometers that's to and from Toronto, the Burlington, a return trip. My legs are tired, my whole fucking body was tired. But it was worth it, considering I was out of shape. And I should have did a few 40 kilometer rides in order to uh, owe up to it and get myself back in the shape. That would have helped. But anyways, uh, yeah, I did have a good time. And I did enjoy getting lost, because that's the best part about traveling. And about having fun, too. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.
Feel free to share the video. And how many bike trips have you done? Regardless how bad or good the weather is, if it's really cold or really hot out, where have you gone? Anyways, yeah. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Cheers.